this is just something I came up with uh, several years ago. I was working with some serialization code. Due to uh, the domain of the data, I couldn't really use any existing serialization libraries I could find. So this had to be extremely fast. If, if there was a single virtual function call anywhere in it, it would be too slow to be usable in the uh, s situation I was in. Okay, add on top of that, I'm in embedded systems. Most of those compilers are terrible. Those are the good ones. <laughs> um, I, I, I would have loved to use, you know, GCC like three would have probably been an improvement. <clears throat> but so, you know, this had to deal with low level things. I had to deal with Indianization. I had to deal with byte packing. I had to deal with uh, a handful of data conversions and how to do this as generally as possible and make it fast. So I got to a point where I realized I was going to have about 10 or 20 different classes that had the same functionality. I'm like, well, I don't want to re-implement that over and over and over. So I <clears throat> pulled it out into a uh, CRTP, uh, into a base class. And my first attempt, I had this virtual function. And you know, this, of course, is not what I actually wrote. This is just the shape of the program. You know, and I go through and I do this. And it works. Everything called how I would expect, how I wanted, everything I needed called. And then I looked at the generated assembly, and this is what Visual Studio generates. And I looked through it, and I get up here, and there's a virtual function call. I'm just like, dang it. I can't do this. Uh, I can't have a virtual function call, because that virtual function call will dominate the time of the program. And at that point, it's just a non-starter. <clears throat> so I had to figure out how to get rid of the virtual function call. I really, uh, I don't remember exactly what it was about the program that I decided that uh, CRTP was the right way to abstract it into a base class. <clears throat> so I went for a second attempt. This one's very sim similar, but instead of having a virtual function call, I did something I hope is legal. And because I know that my class derives, I cast this pointer. And then I now can statically resolve call. And so now I have a base class calling into the derived class through a static function call. And I'm like, this makes me nervous, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this is legal. <laughs> so. That's how CRTP is legally used. Oh, is it really? Huh. Well, I've never seen this before, so I came up with this on my own, and I'm proud of that. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I go through the second thing, and I looked at it, and I looked at the generated assembly, and in this case, you know, you've got the C out just as a, as a proof, and guess what? It inlined everything, so I was so happy. I, I'm glad that that is something that's legal. I did not realize that that was common, but I was happy to come up with it. Mm. Well, <clears throat> yeah, well, I, I only had one member function in the CRTP base class, so, but I was proud of myself. I came up with this. I'd never seen it before, and it's good to know it's not illegal, <laughs> so. <laughs>